hi guys welcome to my youtube channel in today's video we will learn how to choose the item from the drop down list using javascript function in power automate desktop so please watch this video till then so that you can understand it completely and if you have not subscribed my youtube channel yet please subscribe it so let's get started So today again we are going to work with the fake name generator website. I'll go to the fake name generator website. And here what we want to do is we want to choose the item from this so gender drop down one by one. So first of all we want to know how many items are present inside this gender drop down. How can we know it to do that I will right click and go to the inspect and then I will click on this button and highlight this gender drop down and from here I will take the name I'll copy it I'll go to the console and then I will type document dot get elements by name and then inside this I'll specify the name of the element then it is available on the zero index so I will specify zero now you can see that it is highlighted and then what I want to do is I want to get the children and then I want to know the length of it so it is 3 so this piece of code is going to give me the number of items present inside the drop down so now I'll go back to the power automate desktop and first of all as I know that fake name generator website is already opened I'll go to the browser automation and because it was a chrome browser so i'll use launch a new chrome i'll use attach to running instance and then here i'll specify the title i will specify the website's title which is peak name generator and then I will name the browser instance as browser I will click on save next I will use run javascript function on web page and from here I will specify the you know the javascript function which I have copied so I will take return and this is going to give me the length of the or the number of items present in the drop down list right here i can name this uh, as drop down items i'll copy this now i will run the bot to see whether it is returning the number of items present So my bot will not work because this console is open so I'll close it and here you can see that there are three items right and that is why we are getting three in the console. I will again run the bot I will go back to the power automate and here I will type drop down now here you can see that we have three but if you take a look at the type of this it is text value so which means I need to convert this to number 
I will go to the text and then I will use first let's use the trim text just in case if there is any you know uh, space before and after it should remove it and then I want to convert this text to number I will specify this text to number correct now what I want to do is I have to you know select the item from the drop down one by one to do that I will go back to you know I'll go to the loops and here I will use the loop and I want to start it from zero because the indexing in JavaScript starts with zero so I'll use zero and n2 so drop down items is going to have the total number of items present and because I want to run this bot three times I will subtract it by one so zero one and two so it will be three and I want to increment by one so I will just specify one and then here we have the loop index which is going to store the index of the item next what I will do is because I want to choose the value from the drop down I will go back to the fake name generator website right click inspect highlight the drop down and take the name of it you can also take the ID clear it in type document dot get element by name double quotes name of the element specify the index because this is the index which is uh, available and then what I want to do is I want to select the item from the drop down to which I will use the selected index and here if I specify 2 you will see that it has chosen female and if I specify 1 it will choose the male so this is working for us I'll copy this piece of code I will close it I will go to the power automate desktop and here I will use run javascript function on web page before this closing curly bracket I'll paste this piece of code and from here I will use the loop index because this is going to have the index of the item and then I will click on save before making the selection I want to wait for you know at least two seconds just to showcase this demo so I'll go to the flow control I'll take wait from here and specify 2 just in case if you want to reduce the wait timing what you can do is you can specify the values in points also so this is going to wait for you know for around 2 milliseconds if you specify 0.3 3 milliseconds if 4 4 milliseconds 5 you know half of the minute half of the second so let's keep it this way I'll right click and before that I'll check if the console is opened so this is closed I'll go back to the power automate desktop and I will run the bot you can see that it did not wait for long also and it has made all three selections from this drop down so this way you will be able to get the number of items present in the drop down and also you will be able to make the selections using the dot selected index uh, property of the element
if the element is is a drop down list next thing that we want to check is how to check if a checkbox is selected or not so to determine that what we can do is we can right click here go to the inspect and then I will you know highlight this checkbox and from here I will choose the name of the int element go to the console clear the console and then type document dot get element by name specify the name specify the index because they we have only one and then we can specify the checked property of it so as of now this is unchecked so it is going to return me the false but if I want to select this checkbox I will specify true the moment I set the value as true you will see that checkbox will be selected right and if I set the value as false it will be unchecked and again if I set the value as true it will be checked so let's take this piece of code from here close this console and then here you can see that it is checked as of now okay so I'll go back to the power automate desktop and I'll put a breakpoint here because I do not want to execute the rest of the code I will just take the run javascript function on web page and from here I'll specify this piece of code so to uncheck it I'll set the value as false and if you want to set the you know produced variable you can change the variable name here I will click on save and then drag it up okay I will run the bot here you can see that it has unchecked the checkbox right but let's say if you want to check whether the checkbox is selected or not and after that you want to decide whether you want to check it or uncheck it right so as of now it is unchecked right so let's test this and after this you make the selection I will stop the bot here and in this JavaScript code in this JavaScript code I will remove this false and I will return this value I will rename this variable name checkbox state and I will click on save and let's run and see if I can get you know the result and to see if what is the type of this result okay I will run it Code has been executed here you can see it is false but the type of it is text value okay which means we need to specify it accordingly so I'll go back to the conditionals drag the 
if condition from here specify the variable name is equal to false which means if it is unchecked then what I want to do is I want to check the checkbox and then here I want to set the value as true I will remove the written keyword and then I will click on save now I will run the bot now here you can see that it has selected the checkbox let's run it again to check if it is working so I will just right click and they say run from here and this time my bot should not uncheck it as you can see it did not do anything because it did not meet the required condition right so this is how you can uh, you know check whether a checkbox is checked or unchecked also you can find out how many items are present in the drop down list and based on that you can make the selection and perform your automation here you have also learned that you can specify the wait time in the milliseconds as well right so if you like this video please click on the like button and please subscribe my youtube channel and if you have any question please post it in the comment section thank you for watching have a great day